Hi, Bethany Church family. It's Pastor Mike. Today is Tuesday, June the 16th, 2020. I want to share a devotional with you today that's also an object lesson. It isn't very hard to learn how to drive, but it is very important that we know all about our car. We must also know what traffic lights mean and that there are a lot of different signs out there on the road. So when we see a no parking sign, we should not put our car in that place, right? If the traffic light is red, it means we must stop. If we don't, we might hit another car. This sign says one way. And when this sign is placed along a road, it means that all cars must go in the direction that the arrow shows. This sign tells us that we must go only in the direction or our car will get into an accident. The Lord's Supper really has two signs in it. They are the bread and the wine. As United Methodist, we drink juice. They are like this one-way sign. They point us in the right direction. They show us the right place to look. The bread and the wine remind us that Jesus died on the cross. The soldiers who crucified Jesus we know, did terrible things to him. They put nails into Jesus' hands, and the blood ran out. The soldiers hurt his body, and Jesus died. But he died so that you and I could be very happy. And if we have faith in who Jesus is, and what he did, and what he does for us still, we have eternal life. If we believe that Jesus loves us, and that we love Him too by our lives, then we know that we will be with Him always. The bread and the wine on the communion table tell us, remember what Jesus did for you. The bread reminds us that His body was given for us. The wine reminds us that His blood was shed for us. He died so that we might live. Just like this sign, the bread and the cup point in the right direction. They point straight to Jesus. They're like little arrows that show us how much Jesus really loves us. When we return to in-person worship in the sanctuary, we will be doing communion differently than we did before. All signs right now point us to not using the common cup anymore. We'll be creative in the ways that we have communion. And I want to invite your feedback and your participation in that. So there'll be some new training that needs to occur with those who serve communion, including our acolytes. I hope that the time of us coming back together is short. I think that it will be if there are not any setbacks with COVID-19. I'll continue to keep you informed about those plans. In the meantime, remember, God gives us direction in our lives. And I look forward to having the bread and the cup with you very soon. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for our time today. We miss, Lord, being together in your house miss worshiping you together. Help us this day, Lord, to spend time in your word, to pray for one another and for ourselves, for the glory of your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, for all those who are helping to find a cure for COVID-19. In Jesus' name, amen. Until we're together again, God bless you.